Hey everybody, this is Quincy with Free Code Camp. I've had a lot of requests from a lot of code campers to show how I use Gmail. As you may have heard, I use Gmail maybe five or ten minutes a day, but during that period of time, I read all kinds of emails and respond. And the key is using keyboard shortcuts. That saves so much time. So let's take a look at some of the shortcuts I'm going to teach you real quick. So um, basically, navigating around Gmail opening, replying, replying to all the emails, forwarding, composing, and archiving, and even marking spam. We're going to learn all that real quick. So the first thing you want to do is go to Gmail. This is just a kind of spam email account that I use. And you'll want to go to Settings. And you'll want to find Keyboard Shortcuts. And you'll want to make sure the keyboard shortcuts are on. And then you'll want to save. So after you do that, you can go back to the inbox view, and this is my main view. I don't actually use a lot of folders or any of the advanced Gmail functionality. I literally just use the inbox, and my actual inbox is inbox zero. I always have it completely empty, and anything that I can't deal with immediately, well, I figure out some way to get it back into the court of another person, or I set up a reminder to take action in the future. But specifically, in the realm of hotkeys, I'm going to teach you immediately something very useful. J will move this blue cursor here down. And K will move it back up. It's a fundamental concept that you should grasp in using these Gmail shortcuts. Another thing you should know, O will open an email. So, as you can see, I've got this original email. It's just a email. Here, I can click on it to open it up, I can click it to close it, but I can also use N to move to the next one and P to move to the previous one. I can just hit enter to expand it if I want. So N is next, P is previous. Okay, so let's go back to the um, inbox here and I'm going to show you if I open it up, I can hit J to shift through all the different emails I have in my inbox, and I can hit K to move back. And when I get to the very top and I hit K the final time, it just takes me right back to the inbox. So I can go really deep and come right back up into the inbox. Next thing I want to show you is how to compose emails. You hit C and you can compose an email. And you can uh, just hit tab to skip through the fields. Let's say you wanted to send an email to somebody. You can just tab down here. You just hit tab and it'll lock in that email address and you can type your next email address. Tab down here, test, test. Hit tab again and you see that it highlights send. And you just hit enter and it's sent. So now let's go ahead and reply to an email. So I've got this email. I'm just going to hit R to reply to it. I can hit escape at any point to exit out of this text box that I'm in and get access to these hotkeys again. And let's do that. So I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to hit A and I'm going to reply to all. This particular email only has one sender so it, it's not any different from replying. Um, the other thing I can do is I can hit escape to exit out of this and instead of replying I can hit F to forward it. I can forward it to an email address and you'll notice how I just typed team and hit tab there and it auto completed the rest. So tab is, Gmail has something called tab completion and you can hit tab to complete email addresses. Then I can just hit tab and send a little message and then hit tab again and hit enter to send it. So then after I've done all this stuff I can either hit J to go all the way back up to the top or K to go all the way back to the top or I can archive it. But before we start archiving things, because this is pretty critical, you can hit X to select the currently selected email and it'll add this little check to this box here. So what you can do is you can just hit J, X, J, X, J, X, and you can just select a ton of stuff and then you can hit E to archive it. And that's what I do. I don't actually create folders or anything. I just archive things and that's how I get to zero inbox archive stuff. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is you can hit, if you hit X, you can just hit exclamation point and it'll mark it as spam. Now I don't actually want to mark this as spam so I can just undo that with Z. 
So regardless of how deep you get yourself in, you can always hit Z to undo it. So that's how I use Gmail, and Gmail is a wonderful tool. You don't need some powerful email app if you just know a few shortcuts and if you just go through really quickly and archive things you don't want. And last thing is a goodie, little uh, grab bag item. If you hit slash, it'll select the text box so you can just start typing. Let's just search test and we'll find the previous emails I sent with tests as the subject and then the contents. So that's how I use Gmail. Thanks for watching.